<laughs> Man, you know what's so cool is that sometimes I just push that button over there, 39, and it claps. But, like, you guys did way better clapping <laughs> than the button. Yay! Yeah. Happy Monday afternoon. It is time for the latest news to keep you in the groove with Maya. Maya, we got all sorts of visitors with us. Introduce yes. our guests or um, have them introduce themselves or whatever you yeah. want. It's your show. We're going to make you introduce us. Okay. <laughs> um, so, okay, um, this is Kathy J. Kathy uh-huh. J. Yes. Um, Larry. Yes. And Leia. And Anna. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> excellent. Now, Larry, do me a favor. Yes. Say your last name for me. It's Eulaberry. Eulaberry. We're I trying like to decide, that. does Larry yeah. and Eulaberry rhyme? It yeah. does. Okay. I think so. In fact, so. when I first got into the business, um, they usually in radio, they have you pick out a name. And... Uh, uh, the guy I was working with at the time, he's like, Larry Uliberry. He's like, you got to keep it. It rhymes. <laughs> right. And so I did. And now everywhere I go, everybody knows who I am. So. Right. We <laughs> were like, I was like, it's Larry Uliberry. And then I was like, no, I said that wrong because I don't think it rhymes. And then it totally rhymes. <laughs> it totally rhymes. Love that. Um, once I like as a it. kid, I uh, told uh, some kids on the bus just as a fib once because I don't have a middle name. And I said to, uh, to the kids on the bus, I said, you know, my middle name is Gary. <laughs> Larry. And so they're like, Larry, Gary, Uliberry. <laughs> so I said that once, and that stuck with me all through high school. People would be like, hey, that guy's name's Larry, Gary, Uliberry. It's like, what kind of parents would do that to a kid? I don't know. But you just chose it as your personal fa- Facebook I, page. I kind of, well, he, no. has, he has different Facebook pages, so they made him change his name on one of them, so he made it Larry, Gary, Uliberry. I'm right. like, you're keeping the lie alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good lie. Right. right. <laughs> but Larry and I do the uh, the new Flow 107.1 morning show. Um, and you might have heard uh, us on a different morning show for a years. while back. We've for been years. We've been doing mornings for a long time in Denver. Yeah. And uh, they also take our morning show and replay it in the afternoons on Jam and 101.5. Oh, yeah. cool. So we're happy to be here with you, So what Maya, you're saying is I can sister. sleep in yes. and yeah. still hear you in the afternoon. Exactly Absolutely. what I'm telling you, Cody. Excellent. Good to know. <laughs> good to know. Okay, so we have your sister yeah. with us as well yes okay and then you are i'm a volunteer so cool. i'm a volunteer mm-hmm. intern and i've been here since june so oh, nice. i was just doing it for the summer because i'm a broadcast journalism student so cool, oh, cool. what school do you I'm go to Ole miss oh cool yeah very cool Thanks. well let's right. still we need some interns at our place yeah we do we'll take her i'll come <laughs> hang i'll come <laughs> hang she's <laughs> available <laughs> she does excellent work okay we'll so also thank take you. the ryan seacrest cut out <laughs> you can I'll bring it. him along That's with me okay so so we're with, this is your show, Maya. We're happy to be here. Where do you want to go? Take it away, girl. Um, Where are we starting? So, well, first I decided to start off with a quote. Okay. Um, and so it says, It really shocks me when I encounter people who think kindness doesn't, ra- doesn't matter because I think it's pretty much the only thing that matters. Josh Radner. Such good advice. That's, That's a totally good quote. Agree. Yeah, yeah there, more people could definitely be nice because you see people on viral videos being mean and people yeah. confronting other people yeah. and it's like it's a mess. So if you have a chance to be nice, be nice. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't take much either. And it's free. Yeah. Right. It's totally free. Yeah. Nice for nothing. Yeah. What else? Go ahead, Maya. What's, did you have some um, questions to start us off with? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, so how did you guys meet? and decide to become co-hosts. Well, we have a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. His name is Chris. And uh, I was uh, talking with Kathy on the phone the first time I met her. And she was on speakerphone. And she said, uh, I was working mornings on the radio. And she was just finishing college. Right. And she said, hey, get me a job. And I said, you know what? You have a great laugh. He did say that. And uh, (laughs) and I've been holding on to that for 15 years. (laughs) Use what you got. If you got a great laugh, use it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. So, Kathy had a great laugh. And uh, one day, I eventually did get her a job. It took a while, but <laughs> we got her a job. I had to work my way up. Because, yeah. So, uh, there was a couple times I, I'd do an internship, and then that would end. And then the, he'd let me audition because somebody was out. So, it took me a while to get there, but I got there. And then... Um, People like the fact that we are already so familiar with each other because you don't get that really on radio shows. It's people that are co- are cool with each other and friendly, but they don't have the inside scoop that Larry and I have. We yeah. vacation together. My daughters <laughs> oh. call him mm-hmm. uncle. So, I mean, we're, we have a chemistry that not a lot of shows have. So Yeah, yeah it's yeah. kind of rare. It's like a lot of shows, um, we'll do it for a couple of years together or whatever, but it's uh, rare that... 
you last as long as we have yeah. and we're still friendly to each other. It's like, right. I still look out for her. She looks out for me. Yeah, and totally. Like her daughters are like, I feel like they're my daughters. Yeah. Um, Which I keep telling him, take them. I mean, <laughs> those things are expensive. <laughs> um, so it's fun. The more expensive, um, the older they get. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, so, yeah. I don't want them to get older. They're so cute. I just want them to stay cute. Yeah, they are. They're at the cute stage. Yeah, right. so that's how we they got come, to know each other. Yeah, this is my impression of her youngest daughter. She's two and a half. She's two and a half and she saw a birthday card that they had got me and it was on the coffee table and she goes that's a happy birthday card <laughs> and I go what and she goes that's a happy birthday card <laughs> and I go yes it is yeah. <laughs> he speaks he speaks I Gianna speak her, her that's language, when you know that's very good good impression I like it yeah yeah um, so how do you prepare for your morning show Um, also, your afternoon show. Yeah, we fly <laughs> by the here, fly, right? Fly by the seat of our pants. No. <laughs> I think all day we are actually preparing for what we're going to do the next day. So obviously, we're going to talk about you about being here with you tomorrow morning. Um, and if something happens in celebrity news or something, we definitely have that. So preparing, it's just kind of life. What is happening in everybody's lives, and what will people want to gravitate towards and talk about and share their stories about. Yeah, I think when you do a morning show for a long time and you get real comfortable, um, the process of planning is easy because you're like, I thought of three things today that we need to talk about. Yes. Plus, uh, we have what's called a prep service, and it sends us uh, you know, data on recent surveys about people or what's trending and like all the stories for that day that, are, that you're going to eventually see later in the news. We have a first crack at it. So Yeah. That's kind of um, uh, with the prep along with talking constantly. <laughs> yeah. Like we must talk like 10 times a day. Yeah, you're right. Even whether I want to or not. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm definitely chatty. Don't, don't give me your number. It's no different from, from you and Chris, Cody. That's right. I'm, you know, you guys are uh, always at yep. each other's houses. Yep. Well, and we sit 33 inches from each other. So <laughs> literally, we once got out a, a thing and measured it. <laughs> Did you really? A, a thing. By that, I mean a, a measuring tape. tape. Measuring tape. Right. I'm like a thing. Right. You guys know what that <laughs> is. You know, yeah. We, we got you. It's charades yeah. and Maya show all in one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there do you have another question um i was gonna save the other questions for that you can, okay. okay go so ahead you, take you, it like away us, you have a celebrity story too or like you have like topical things that you like to talk about on your show too right yeah. she prepares nice. yes very yeah. actually show probably more than you guys well, no, you, you're, you're, you're right. you're, her show intro was better than any of our show intros. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, i mean i did it's sing Maya. on it right that was, cool. that was really cool hey you know what i would like to volunteer to make you a show open Ooh. I'll produce you one. Dude, that would be cool. <laughs> Although, yeah. I, I don't know. I really like the Hey Maya. Oh, no, no. But I mean, hey she Maya. can mix it up or she can have an in-between oh, things. Like, I can have you, dang. like, I'll even make a, a fake commercial for you. That's one of my favorite things to do. That's oh, cool. my God. Yeah. That's cool. That would be cool. cool. Yeah. Larry's good with his par parody songs and his voice impressions. <laughs> He's very unique. In a time, Maya was a woman. In a world, in a time, she was a woman. Wearing glasses, hosting a show. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Hello, Maya. This is Morgan Friedman. You might not know who I am, but I'm Mr. Wayne's assistant on Batman. <laughs> that was, that was yeah. good. Wow. Yeah. Right, totally. Um, and, and, I do an impression of Kathy, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> stop mocking me. Larry, Larry, I said stop. stop. stop it. Why don't you tell me? Okay, let's talk about, how about Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> yes, I do Arnold Schwarzenegger as well. I saw a video of him in the, on the Facebook. Yes. He's looking very old. The Terminator's back hurts. Oh, my back! <laughs> You're going to see him walking by going to the nurse's station. <laughs> right. Well, you know what? That's crazy because today's his birthday. True. Happy birthday to me. Happy yeah. birthday. Where's my cake, Maya? Oh. Did you not get Arnold Schwarzenegger a cake? Maya. She's like, <laughs> see you said. It's okay. I'll send you a You're cake. You're scaring her. You're okay. very good. <laughs> now we have to get to the chopper on the roof. Right. We have to go. Go now. Yeah. <laughs> very expensive chopper. It is very expensive chopper. We actually do have a chopper. I know on you do, right? Which is really Let's cool. Go, Maya. We must go. <laughs> go now. Get down. 
I don't think I don't think we usually leave from here. Usually we just come to here. Yes. And shop no, here. We're, we're coming during the helicopter. We're going to get ice cream. <laughs> Can you imagine pulling up to the ice cream shop? Everyone's like, "Why is that chopper right here?" <laughs> just us. Yes. Eating some menchies. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's for children's hospital. Step aside. <laughs> um, your sister and your she looks like your mom and she looks like your grandma. You guys all have the same pretty little look. You guys look cute. You really do. <laughs> yeah. You really do. You guys are twins, right? Yes. Yes. That's cool. You know the question. Who's first? Me. Three, older. Older. three by, minutes. By three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> now, Mom, but Maya's you, taller. Oh, well. Yeah. So, so did you know that you were carrying twins? Okay, you did. It wasn't a surprise. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's two. <laughs> Hold on, Sheila. All right, Maya. Yeah. Tell us, what are we talking about first today, girl? Um, so it's a new show called A Million Little Things. That mm-hmm. um, It's an upcoming family comedy drama, and it'll be on ABC. And the series, it was ordered a pilot in August. 2017 that was picked up as a series in May and um, it will premiere September 26th and I'm really excited for it because it stars James Roday. Um, Is he cute? <laughs> he's gotta be, right? I'm trying, he's, I need to, I need old. He's oh. kind of old. Wait, oh, he's not old. old. He's not the teen heartthrob of the show. Oh, okay, okay. Is, is right. that it? Um, oh, I, I need my phone. Yeah. I have to Google who he is. Yes, which one is he? Point to him. Which one is he? Which one is he? I'll, I'll look him up. Really? I He's thought you were going to go for the guy on the end with the t-shirt and his shirt open. Oh, That's, okay. I don't know who that guy is. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah. the, that He's show on is... Uh, don't they all have kind of like superpowers or something like that? Or is it like no. that? No. Oh, okay. It's not sci-fi. Um, no. No. Oh, so okay. what is... Is it... Um, it, well, when I read about it, it said it was like the, um, like ABC, like it was like ABC's This Is Us. Okay. So, so it's about real oh, life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So yeah. it might cause you to cry a little bit. Probably. Yeah. Right. Like every oh. single right. Yeah. Yes. So right. Like, like this, this is, is Us, you won't stop crying. Yeah. Right. It's like so the this, crock pot. Yeah. It was the crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then everybody went and checked the wires in their crock pot at home. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 I shouldn't have this anymore. Right. But a million things. I mean, I guess it could go any which way. It could be there's a million things that that can drive you crazy in the day. There's a million yeah. things that can make things good in the day. I, it's a good title. Mm-hmm. A yeah. million things. A little things. Oh, Sorry, little things. Was, try it again. <laughs> it's not sci-fi. Wrong no. voice guy. Yeah. <laughs> a million things. A million little things. And uh, the show also stars Ron Livingston and Allison Miller. Oh, cool. Um. Yeah, and um, it's about a group of friends who they realize they need to start living more when something unexpected suddenly happens. And so I'm really excited for this show. And you definitely, and it's probably one of those that's probably good for uh, teenagers, young adults, right? Probably. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just, just to be sure. I cry like a teenage girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'll exactly what like I it. sound like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you cry, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what else do we have? Um, so the upcoming movie, Should Sam. Ooh, that looks uh, good. I saw the trailer for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, now that's funny. a sci-fi, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it's superhero. It's a superhero. Yeah. superhero. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, and um, so it's an upcoming superhero movie, and it's based on the DC Comics character of the same name and it will um, come out April 5th 2019 you're kidding me and you're telling me we gotta wait yes. that long <laughs> yeah still next year um, yeah and builds uh, up the anticipation right yeah. and it makes yeah, you true it makes you have to like be very careful drive yeah. careful we have to make it to that movie yeah right eat more vegetables <laughs> yeah. right go right. to yeah. the gym more stairs that's how sure. I felt about the Avengers I had to make it to the Avengers movie I had to be able to watch that could they have taken any longer movies. to make it yeah, yeah. Right. it was your favorite movie this year 
or just in general. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love the Marvel movies. Oh yeah, yeah. they're great. And did, did you you did you freak out when the ending was happening? Yeah, right. I, I like spilled my popcorn everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then she faded away. Screen. You faded away into pieces. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> gave away the ending. I yeah. seen if I'd movie. seen the movie, I'd know what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, right. I totally <laughs> haven't. So. Um, the movie is about um, a 14-year-old named Billy Batson who's an orphan, and he ends up, like, he gets transported into a, a different world where um, a wizard gives him the power to transform into an adult superhero named cool. Shazam. Played by Zachary and- Levi. Yeah. Leia, I'm getting to that. Ah. Shush. <laughs> now, here's the heartthrob Kathy thought they were yeah, talking there, about. There we go. Now we know. Zachary's yeah. cute. Um, <laughs> and uh, he and his foster brother, Freddie Freeman, have to learn what his new powers are and how to use them um, in order to stop um, this villain. And um, the movie stars Asher Angel from Andy Mack as the young Billy Batson, um, Zachary Levi as um, the adult Billy Batson, and right. Shazam. Right, I think he and, like transforms when he's from a kid to an adult superhero in uh-huh. between. Is that yeah, how that works? Yeah, she right. covered that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, and it also stars Jack Dylan Grazer as Freddie Freeman. And Ross Butler, but Ross Butler's um, role hasn't been revealed yet. Okay. And Ooh. I'm really excited for this movie. Do you think he's so. going to be the villain, Ross Butler? I mean, he could definitely pull off a villain look. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, on the board, which one is who? Who is... Um, this one Zachary right here? Levi's yeah. the older than him, right? Yeah. Okay. That's Zachary Levi. That's Asher Angel. So that's young Shazam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then that's his friend, Freddy? Yeah. That's okay, cool. Jack. So when he becomes the adult superhero, he's still going to have his young friend, Freddy, by his side. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh. I see. Yeah, Zachary Levi is cute. Isn't he? <laughs> Cuties. Cuties. <laughs> um, he was actually. Zachary Levi was in Psych the Movie with oh, okay. James Roday okay. and Dulé Hill and everyone. One and of my his favorites. Yeah, oh. and um, he played the villain in that, and um, he's actually really good as a villain. <laughs> <laughs> I like when people play against what you know them as, right. when they mix it up yeah. a little bit. Those are the best actors. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So before we move on That's from the superhero, good. I have to know what you'd want as your superpower if you could, if you could be a superhero. I don't know. I know what superhero I'd want to be. Okay, but, who? Um, okay, so it's either... Um, there used to be this show called Mighty Med, which was about like a secret superhero hospital. Uh-huh. And there was a superhero on that named Skylar Storm. Uh-huh. And so I'd either want to be her or Thunder from Black Lightning. Ooh, so. Black Lightning. I haven't been able to watch that yet. Have you? It's the uh, TV show. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it. And yeah. he's, a, he's a teacher or a principal. And yeah. He, yeah, I want, I'm dying to see that. Yeah, that it's be, so good. Yeah, is yeah. it? Good. Yeah. And Skylar Storm. Storm. What were some of her powers? Yeah. Do you remember? I, I don't. Besides being cool and getting to work with the Sklar brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, in Mighty Med, she actually didn't have her powers. Oh, cause okay. she Oh, because she was uh, in the hospital. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> um, like her, her nemesis took them. Oh, okay. Um, but then in like the spinoff of Mighty Med, um, then she got... Yeah, Lab Rats Elite Force. Duh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, no, Leah. Yeah. 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 She said it, she was like, yeah. <laughs> I get that look a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then in that show, she got her powers back. Oh, okay. And she has like 24 powers. Whoa. So. Yikes. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. That's a lot. Right. I just need like one, maybe, yeah, I and I'm say, good. I'm That's for one. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Um... Yes, yeah, so uh, Kim Possible, it's a new action comedy Disney Channel original movie. Because, of course, um, it used to be a cartoon. Yes, yeah, that um, it w- it's going to be out in 2019, 19, and not much has been revealed about the movie yet, 
but it stars Sadie Stanley as Kim Possible, Sean, I don't know how to say his last name. Um, remember the yeah, remember the rule. Yeah. Just say it with confidence and move it's on. That's exactly right. right. That's yeah. about that's what I was gonna do. That's Cody. all you gotta do. Well, obviously, it's Sean Giambrone. <laughs> hey, and if Kathy says it's right, it's definitely wrong. It's definitely yeah. wrong. Um, just roll with it. Um, yeah. So the actress is that the girl from uh, How I Met Your How Mother? How I Met Your Mother. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so it stars um, Sean for who's in the Goldbergs. Mm-hmm. Oh, he plays Adam. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. he's um, funny. <laughs> as Ron Stoppable, um, Allison Hannigan yep. from How I Met Your Mother as Dr. Anne Possible, and Isaac Ryan Brown from Raven's Home as Wade Load. That's some big names in there. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that was a great cartoon, so I'm really hoping that the movie is good. Because I grew up watching Kim Possible. <laughs> was it funny? I thought so. Oh, nice. Back in the day. It's Did been a while. Crimes? <laughs> what was it? Um, she's, she's like, like a, a secret agent. Yeah, right? she's like a spy. Yeah. Like she's super cool. She does all the stuff. She's mm-hmm. kind of a superhero esque, but more like a spy. Okay, cool. I would say. And there's what about Rufus? Ron Solvable oh, has a little naked Morat named Rufus. Oh. Every show has to have a sidekick in it. Yeah, right. and like he's like this cute little naked Morat thing. <laughs> yeah. But like I don't know how they're like gonna how go they about cast that. that. Maybe CGI. Right, <laughs> live action. So I'm curious right. about Rufus. We'll right. see. I'm Larry's sidekick, yeah. so I totally get it. Yes. <laughs> well, She's my sidekick. sidekick. She's my sidekick. Not my sidekick. She You're going to buy me lunch today. Uh, yes. See? That's she, how she's easy right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm really excited for this movie, too. And um, I think it's either August 17th or August 18th. There's going to be a new Disney Channel original movie um freaky friday which they remade mm-hmm. freaky friday into um, a musical and wow so now they're singing yeah. yes yeah <laughs> so like the Lindsay lohan one but they're adding like remaking it and doing it into a musical and yeah. adding songs wow yeah. that'll be and good it, that movie also has someone from raven's home too Disney knows how to get it done, don't they? they do. yeah. They're on they top sure of do. it. They, they have sure the pocketbooks to do whatever they want. <laughs> I don't really watch their shows. I spend most of my money at their parks. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, Larry. I love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> yeah. Up next, uh, Jesse J. We love Jesse J. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she's. Um, from Redbridge, England, and she's a singer-songwriter, and she actually began her career writing songs for Miley Cyrus. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, and her debut single was called Do It Like a Dude, and um, that hit <laughs> number two on the UK Maybe singles Maybe take control, chart. right, Cody? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That. that's what they mean. No, that's right. what, like, I was, um, yeah, I don't know what I thought that that was about, but I wasn't thinking, <laughs> probably wasn't thinking what you guys meant. <laughs> well, you know what, like, um, for the longest time, people would say, you know, uh, man up, or, you know, like, act like a man. So when Kathy had her daughters, I was like, well, that's kind of, I shouldn't tell them to man up. So now I've been telling them, woman up. <laughs> right. Woman up, woman, right. dear Shake woman. Shake it off, woman, woman up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's probably what the song's about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Um, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, and so that song hit number two on the UK singles chart. And her second um, song was Price Tag. Oh, we which, liked Price Tag. Uh, uh-huh. That's a yeah. good song. Yeah, which um, that topped the charts in 19 countries, including the UK. And she was a coach and mentor on The Voice UK and The Voice Australia. And her debut album was called Who You Are. Um, and she released that in 2011, and it hit number two on the UK charts. And um, that album included her singles, Domino, um, Laser Light, Who You Are, and Nobody's Perfect. Those are all good. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and they um, they all charted within the top 10 
on the UK singles chart. And this made um, this made Jesse J the first British female artist to have six top ten singles from a studio album. Nice. Yeah, and um, Domino also hit number six on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, mm-hmm. and also became her second number one single in the U.K. And um, in 2013, she released her second album, Alive, mm-hmm. and hit, um, and that hit number five on the UK albums chart. And um, in 2014, she released her third album, which was called Sweet Talker, which hit number five in the UK and number 10 on the US Billboard 200. Um, Dang. Yeah, no, yeah. she's been doing good. Yeah, but yeah. I think that the, that Bang Bang was on that album, so it was so that it was With, real uh, successful. Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj. Oh yeah, that was yeah. a big song. Bang and down the road. <laughs> like how you know you want it. You know I got it. Bang bang bang. bang, bang, bang. <laughs> you Listen sound to just the like original her. song. <laughs> yeah, um, I thought that was the original. Right. Oh, yeah, it sounded like Jessie yeah. J was in here. Um, yes, that's you know often I get mistaken for her. <laughs> right, <laughs> I can totally see it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Sweet Talker was actually her highest charting album in the U.S. And then her single Bang Bang with Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj hit number one in the U.K. And it went multi-platinum worldwide. I'm pretty sure um, an Ariana Grande is what you order at Starbucks. You're right, definitely. You want the Ariana Grande. Grande with foam. With two pumps, you're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and in January 2015, she had sold um, over t- 20 million singles and 3 million albums worldwide. Just a little popular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in 2014, she released her single Masterpiece, which is one of my favorite songs by her. Um, so, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Why do you like Masterpiece? Um, I, just, I just love the message in it. And, um, and yeah. Okay. Just, yeah, and I just think it's a really good song. And then... Do we have it to play? Do you have it? Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I came in like a masterpiece. No, that's oh, it. No. Right there, you got no. it. No. That's Wrecking Ball. Oh, yeah. Gosh, Which she probably very, wrote. Very. From Miley Cyrus. Oh, true. Hey. I, I mean, I got, I got price take. That's it. Oh, yeah. oh, that's, it. that's a good one. Good. Do you know, uh, she, wrote, she wrote songs for Miley Cyrus, and we just learned... And our trash and bash that BB Rexa, you know BB Rexa, she's yeah. the uh, love her sing right. that song. Yeah. Uh, well, she sings right. mean, to me. mean to me, meant to be, it'll yeah, be. yeah, that was meant to be, she baby, got, it was meant to be. She got her like, start. Ride with, with, me. Ride with me, see how this thing goes. Um, she wrote, uh, she wrote that hit monster for Eminem and Rihanna. Oh. And then she she wrote a lot of a, a lot of hits for so many artists that before she got famous. So it's crazy how you come in however you can in the business. Her talent was yeah. songwriting just like Jesse J. But yeah. that's also um, Julia Michaels. She started her career yes. writing songs totally. for the artists. Oh, yeah. um, she so, was the one that yeah. I had the story. She was talking about how it's what it's like to write with Ed Sheeran and Sean Mendez. Right, right, right. Sean Mendez comes in like a wrecking ball, right. And is all energy and, and just stuff. Comes in with a rift and a guitar, and, and he's Ed like Sheeran, already singing on the way up. Ed Sheeran's silent, and he writes like five hits in ten in, minutes. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Two totally different writing styles. <laughs> Ooh, another Darren. cutie. Who's Darren Chris? Yeah. He was on Glee, um, right? Yep. Yeah, so he's from... Oh, he was in the, the guys' team, right? Yeah. yeah the he, he dated Warbler. Rachel. The Warbler. the Warbler. He was the Warbler, but he was also in the Gianni Versace made-for-TV movie. That oh, was that's just, right. That was him. I think he actually got nominated for a Golden Globe for that or something. Yeah, um, so he's from San Francisco, California, and he's an actor, singer, and songwriter. And um, he's actually... He's one of the... Co owners and founding members of um, a thing called Star Kid Productions, which is a Chicago 
based musical theater company. And um, he's also, he's been in a couple plays on Broadway. And um, he's best known for playing Blaine Anderson on Glee. And his cover of Katy Perry's um, Teenage Dream uh, from Glee became the fastest selling Glee single. Um, what? I'm, it beat out Journey? What? what? Don't stop! <laughs> um, I miss Glee. Anybody else miss Glee? I do too. Yeah. Larry it was loved Glee. <laughs> my mom loved Glee. Like, I turned my mom later on. I, I, I was like, Mom, you gotta watch this show. And she's like, she literally called me like a couple times during the course of the show. And she was like, Thank you for turning me on to this show. She's like, it means so much to me. And she was really into all the characters, and she'd call me crying. I'd be like, all right. Yeah. Back before Netflix, I got the box set for Christmas. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I we that. actually had to go yeah, buy the DVDs sure. and right. stuff. But I watched it probably in like three days. Exactly. You know? And then the Glee concert on DVD was really good. It was sad because uh, before I knew it was going to be so big, they had come out to us and they said, hey, um, there's gonna, all the Glee kids are coming out to There's this a new mall. TV show that Fox is launching. And then do you want to go? And I was all, no. Right. And then so Kathy went. I had she to had go. to meet all of them. They were all there except for uh, uh, the, the uh, tall one. The one that was Mary, I mean. Leah Michelle's boyfriend. Finn. Right. Finn. 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 He was, he was not there. But all the rest of them were there. And then they came in concert and they were like, Larry, do you want to go to the concert? And I was all, no. Because I hadn't watched the show yet. So then I could have met them all at the concert, and then I watched the show, and then I was like, why didn't I go to the concert? And then he played that concert <laughs> nonstop for the rest of Don't us that would come to his house. <laughs> you know you want to see the Teenage Dream version, don't no, you? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was um, Kurt's Man Candy. Yes. Oh. That's right. Um, and then, so his cover of Teenage Dream reached number eight on the Billboard Hot 100 and was certified gold in the U.S. Um, and for the Glee finale, he wrote um, the song This Time and he was nominated for an Emmy for, oh, wow. the, for oh, wow. it. Cool. And Yeah, and then um, March 2017, him and Darren and his brother Chuck started the indie pop duo computer games and their um ep lost boy's life um they wrote um there were four songs on it and they wrote all the songs and um the lead single every single night hit number two on billboard's hot singles um and then in in december 2017 um, Darren released a solo EP called Homework, which hit number one on Billboard's Heat Seekers chart and number seven on Billboard's Independent Albums chart. And um, he's also been in a ton of movies and shows, and he's had guest starring roles in a bunch of shows. Um, he guest starred in a 2017 episode of The Flash. Oh, which, the musical. Yeah. Yeah, which was um, their, a musical episode, um, and it was it was called du called duet, um, and he played the music meister, and he and Leah Michelle went on the LMDC tour together. Oh, cool! Yeah, I love so, Leah Michelle. Yeah. She's like so talented. Yeah. I I thought honestly that more of those people on that show would be like doing bigger things now like i thought like those people would be charting they did such right. a good job making all those songs i really thought santana of anybody was going to be on the charts oh, with yeah. singles right. and stuff she's good really, really good and so is lee michelle all and of mercedes them. tried to do something yeah. she's good too yeah, they're they're you're right they never Amazing. punched through the ceiling uh, well they kind of already did they beat like the beatles as far as singles sales and stuff so they really did prove themselves but i thought they would have a lot of life beyond glee. like yeah. solo career right. yeah yeah i agree we miss glee <laughs> 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 Is it that time, Maya? Yes. It's time for Maya's NBT. Next big thing. Ooh, if she good. calls it, it's going to be a big deal. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Write down your lottery <laughs> numbers. <laughs> did, did you just trip? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't Are you see. Okay? It was Maya's mom see anything, tripping Maya. to get up and take a picture. Are you, okay? you were going to want a picture, so she jumped up. And Sheila, just so you know, your hands are in the camera. <laughs> no big deal. What is? It's fine. I think what I Maya meant notice. to say is, Mom, are you tripping? <laughs> Girl. Girl, are you tripping? Are you tripping? <laughs> <laughs> Tell um, us about them, Maya. So, Busby Maru, they're an Australian duo from Rockhampton, Queensland, and um, and they were the first signing artist to Warner Music, Australia's indie imprint Footstomp Records, um, and the member um, the members are Thomas Busby and Jer- Jeremy Maru. Um, and they released their sel- their debut self-titled album on June 24th, 2011, um, which um, had um, their debut single, Bidding My Time, was on that album. And they've recorded and also have been supporting acts for um, an Australian singer-songwriter named Pete Murray and Elton John. Oh, that's pretty big exposure if you're opening for Elton John. Yeah. You must have something going on. Right. Yeah, and um, their debut EP, The Blue Road, was produced by the same person who's worked with multiple artists like David Bowie. Oh. And... Um, their song "Days of Gold" hit the top of the charts and was the number one hit single. That's awesome. It is wow. awesome. Yeah, have you listened to yeah. their music? Yes. And you like I have. it? Yeah. Is it kind of country? What? It... Um. Why are you looking at me? I, I don't know <laughs> these guys. Is it, it, I mean, because obviously he knows how to play an itty bitty guitar. Right. <laughs> so cute. Do they have a didgeridoo? <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, back steakhouse. <laughs> Did you know we had somebody here that lived in Australia, and she told us you can call um, the barbecue a Barbie, but you don't go to a Barbie? You don't go to a Barbie? No. You or, no, no, no. You go to a Barbie, you don't put food on the Barbie. What? Okay. Yeah. How does that work? Like you can call you can call the party a Barbie, uh-huh. but you don't. But the barbecue itself is not called a Barbie. What do you Especially call it? Especially if it's a collectible Barbie. Yeah, okay. let's, let's do it, is, Mom. There Thank you. you. Okay. Oh, wait, I probably picked everything. One thing I <laughs> you picked the documentary. No, uh, I've listened to a couple of their songs, and, like, the videos always start off with them talking. Oh, okay. 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 So, Maya knows. See, as always, Maya knows. Yeah. Underneath the work, man. Singing about those little things. Oh, you seem to take me back. They're yeah, they're yeah. really good singers. Yeah. It's so amazing how many Australian entertainers now are just like in movies and TV, and you don't know they're Australian until you see an interview with them, and you're like, huh. Yeah, because they're they so Australian. good at hiding their, at their doing accent. an American yeah. accent. Right. Like Margot Robbie. I right. love her. You yeah. saw her, sure. like, you know. She's amazing. Right. Yeah. And half the cast of Animal Kingdom, it's a show I'm watching. It's like they're all Australian, but they do perfect English, I mean, American accents. Yeah, I know. It is crazy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you got our actors going over there doing Australian. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. Up next, okay. new music. Thank you. Um, so, um, uh, Gavin Haley, who's um, a friend of mine, and... Yeah, this is his new song. Nice. Has he been through here before? No, but I interviewed him oh, last nice. summer. Oh, cool. So, Very cool. Yeah. Was he nice? Yeah. yeah, he was really nice. Where did you interview him? Um, over the phone. Oh, yeah, so very we do cool. Yeah. All the time. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's a fun um, way because then so, they can call a lot of stations at once. You know, sometimes they sit in a, in a room and call 10 stations in one day. Well, Maya's exclusive. They Ooh. just call. Oh, She's a pretty big well. deal. <laughs> Get some. Yeah, we're on the list. We're yeah. just waiting. We're just waiting I mean, I think she's Maya. got about 45 to 50 call-in interviews. Oh, wow. Very cool. Hey, maybe you should come help <laughs> yeah. us sometime. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we were doing an interview with T.I., and he fell asleep on us. He did. Yeah, we were all. Kathy kept going, 
T.I. He's like, what? <laughs> She's like, Stay awake. I was, oh, sorry. I couldn't get over it. I was like, I, I know because, you know, a lot of them, they got to wake up really early or to call us. Or they from their house. Yeah, and so he obviously wasn't a morning person because he was like. Uh, you can fall asleep. Right. You like and, busted out your mom voice. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was like, T.I. I was like, voice. I was like, wake up. It's tiny. <laughs> it's worth wife. tiny. Uh, we did. Who was it? Um, Mila. Uh, no, you're thinking of. Jovanovich. Uh, Jack, oh. uh, no, when we did Miley Cyrus, she called and she was all hello. She was. We were like, yeah. "Who is this?" She's all, "It's Miley." Yeah. We're like, oh my god. But no, it was it was the really cool actress from Fifth Element that did Mila all the Javo- Resident Evils. Mila Jovanovic. Jovanovic. She called from her kitchen one morning when the when the movie was debuting on that Friday, and you hear her making the protein shakes for her kids to get to school, <laughs> and she was talking to her husband who happened to be the director of the movie. So it was it was cool insight that all of a sudden we. We were in her kitchen right. as she's trying to get the kids to school. It was like, this is neat. Don't ever hang up. What are you going to do next? <laughs> okay. Wait, you interviewed Miley Cyrus. Yes. Yes, yes we did. Uh, she, it was actually she did have a deep voice when she called. When she was coming in concert and she wanted to get the word out. So we got to talk to her and she was really fun. We actually had a really good interview with her. Yeah. But she, you could tell she had been singing the night before and... Her voice was almost gone. It was funny when we picked up the phone. We said hello. Oh, and so she, hello. <laughs> we, We're like, we all, excuse me, sir. You clearly have the wrong number. <laughs> right, right. So this is Miley. <laughs> We're like, oh my gosh. Oh hi, good morning. And then you heard the rasp and you realized it was oh, her it voice. Was her. But wow. <laughs> yeah, she. Had, it's very deep. You're right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we gave her a pass because it was early in the morning. Right. She and might she not was have been a lot of fun. For, so. Right, she was a lot of fun. Cool. Um... Yeah, so um, Gavin Haley came out with his new song, Better Off, on July 27th, and he's now signed to Red Bull Records. And um, in real life, they um, released their song, Tonight Belongs to You, on July 12th. And um, why don't we... Um, their song Talk was released July 7th and Rayana J featuring the Lady Eagles their song Undefeated was released July 26th cool so That's be on the cool. lookout yeah. for him yeah, yeah. right um, good stuff um, he sounded great yeah 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 Oh, I did. I played it. Oh, we, we yeah, heard we, it. Would you like to hear it again? Yes. <laughs> Here, let me let me play that again for you. A double play. <laughs> double play. <laughs> Reach the borderline. I'm to be the end of a sign. Better off I know. I'm leaving on my own. <laughs> I already like it. Super chill. Yeah. Good one. yeah. Chill yeah. vibes. Yeah, I've had that song on repeat since uh, it's come out. So twenty four seven. Leia's like literally. <laughs> How lucky for your mom and sister. <laughs> you know, I'm the same way though. If there's a song I like, I can hear it a million times. Oh, he drives us crazy. I love Ariana Grande's new one. He, and not, okay, no, it's, no it's, tears. It's not. Yes. Car- love that. It's one. not oh. just the song that we have to hear over and over again. If we show up to his house, we have to watch the video. I love Dua Lipa. Do you like Dua Lipa? We yeah. like Dua Lipa. Oh, love her. We and like her. Yeah, there's a lot of her songs that I like. She's amazing. What a great artist. Mm-hmm. Great voice. Very cool sure of herself and independent and not trying to get pushed into a, you need to wear a small little outfit because you're a girl in the pop music. Like, right. she really owns her power. Very independent. I like Dua Lipa a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Strong girls. We like it. Yeah. 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 I had no idea she was British. Well, yeah, I know. the more you know. Another exactly. one, right? Hi. Hi. All right, you got a few more questions for these guys, huh, Maya? Yes. Um, So I was wondering, is there someone you've met that you've been completely starstruck by? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Um, I walked in a room with Janet Jackson, and I was like... I, I can't even put it into words. Like, I was just, like, overcome with numbness. Like, you know when your arm falls asleep? Mm-hmm. That happened to my whole body. Yeah. And that was within seconds of walking in the room. And, of course, I was the first one in the room. And she put a little... She was really short. And she put a little hand out. And she had a little dancer glove on or whatever. And I was all, hi. And then it was insane. And it was kind of awkward because she had... 
I hate to say this, but this is part of the story. She had a really big pimple right here. <laughs> and I, I felt so awkward because I always thought of her as so flawless. Uh-huh. But you could tell there was a lot of stage makeup on her. So I was like, I'm going into denial. I'm going to be in denial, denial right. about that pimple. I'm and, not looking at a pimple on exactly. Janet Jackson's nose. Exactly. So then the guy that I was working with, he went in at, in the same photo se- session. We had to take a picture with her. And then so we were walking out, and he was like, did you see that giant? I was all, oh, shut up. <laughs> Don't I was say like, that. she did not have a big pimple. And then, of course, when we got our pictures from the record company, they had airbrushed it out. Yes. So I was like, oh, that's all that matters. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, it I never want existed. That <laughs> right, exactly. Her pimple could have had a meet and greet by itself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Janet Jackson had me starstruck. Who about Yes. Who? Although, Avi, you've met so many. I mean, you got to go in the courtroom where Michael Jackson was. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, she was like, that sounded weird. <laughs> that totally sounded um, weird. I was all, he, but he was here for a, a, a lawsuit where some lady had said she had written one of his songs. So he had to come to the courthouse, and I was working at the radio station. I ran down there to be media in the room. coming through. Media, you have to see Michael Jackson. It was the most amazing thing because uh, they said "All Rise," and then you know I grabbed a number, and I was lucky enough to get chosen. And so uh, he comes in, and he walks in and sits in the seat and the uh, judge is like, uh, or his attorney's like, Mr. Jackson, how do you write a song? He's like, well, first I think of the bass. And he's like, and he starts beatboxing. And then he's like, and then I get the rhythm. And then he's like, he's like beatboxing so crazy that everybody in the courtroom is like, oh, he's making oh my a song gosh. in front of right. us. And the judge is like, this is not a concert. <laughs> <laughs> he did? Yeah, and he's like, you, you remain asked? silent. And then so Michael Jackson went all the way through and he started to sing a song a cappella. It was the most crazy thing I'd ever seen. And But pure talent. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, that's was so cool. That's cool. Um, I, you know, I've been lucky enough through the Everyday Show, the TV show, to go... And interview uh, actors. So prior to that, it was it was Musical musicians, artists. you know, that came through. So actors, I would say Amy Schumer and I have a cool connection. And uh, Melissa McCarthy. And Melissa McCarthy, we have a cool connection. They 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 seem to recognize me when they see me, but who knows? They totally do. They, right? Yeah, they of totally course. Do. Yeah, they totally do. But I'd, I'd I'd have to go down with The Rock, right? Yeah, The Rock's the Rock awesome. Was probably he seems cool. My, Legendary. Yeah, he cool. he. Uh, he was running late, uh, and so all of the it was for Rampage. So it was just recently, and uh, all of the other actors had headed to lunch because, and he since he was late getting there, he he knew he had to stay. They all took an hour lunch. He was only taking a half hour lunch. I was pushed up against this time clock of if I don't leave now, I'm going to miss my flight. I'll have to catch a flight at like 7 p.m. Go to San Francisco to get to Denver. It was a nightmare, and so I stood outside of his door and. They were breaking for lu- for lunch, and his assistant said, Rock, can you take one more? And I yelled as loud as I could, Please, I have to catch a flight and get home to my kids. And he, <laughs> he was like, Well, sure, come on in. And then so my heart is racing because I'm breaking code. I'm breaking code by jumping the line and trying to get this interview done. And as soon as you walk in, there he is, and it's The Rock, and he's just. You're on Maui. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, so much You're is going welcome. through your head, and he's nice, and he sat down, and and he he. Uh, I asked him what kind of sign language because he learned sign language to do with the gorilla in Rampage, and I have a deaf dog, so I said, "What sign language really worked for you that you could give me?" And he was like, "You could use it right now, calm." <laughs> Be calm. Because <laughs> my heart was racing like crazy. And you don't want to be observed like uh, looking at him, checking him out, so to speak. And so you're trying to keep maintain eye contact up here. Somebody's but you, picking her jaw off the ground. Totally. So, but after at the end of it, since he was getting up to go to lunch, I got to take a picture with him and that was pretty cool. And his big old arm came over me uh-huh. and it smelled so good. Uh-huh. <laughs> she notices that too. Smells. I totally oh, do. Yeah. Love it. You, some yeah. guys just smell good. Did Celebrities Mark Wahlberg the, smell good when you met him? Uh, Mark oh. Wahlberg, I didn't really get close enough to smell. Oh, you know. I, I just sat across from him. I didn't go. Yeah. But I'm sure he smells great. Right. Um, we've met like uh, artists like, you know, 
Fifth Harmony, but there was only four of them, so I really don't think we met Fifth Harmony. <laughs> oh. We met Four Harmony minus one. Right. Um, we like to call them Four Fifths nice. Harmony. Yeah. <laughs> four Fifths <four> Harmony. <laughs> four <fifth> harmony. <laughs> right. Uh, but uh, yeah, like uh, Beyonce, we've had a, we've had a we've had a blessed life. With Rihanna, people we've got to meet. all of them, and everybody's been cool. nice. For sure. Oh, yeah. uh, we even met Eminem. We were like, hi, Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> cool. Why is Starstruck just listening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's probably like We've a lot lucky. of... Do you like Shawn Mendes? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's amazing. I love all the new artists that are out. And um, yeah, so we definitely kind of like... Our music taste is not just the station. Like, Kathy likes some rock and roll. There's some country I like. So yeah. we're all over the map. Yes. Cool. Um, I like pop a lot. I, when I when they're adding music to the radio station, I'm like, oh, we should probably play that new, you know, poppy record. And you want to sing Ariana Grande, then Dua well, Lipa. Do well, then the, I don't think we're going to go in the Dua Lipa route. But anybody, because Ariana Grande dabbles with hip hop, right? So you know, there's a lot. Like even Bieber does hip hoppy songs. So. True. Yeah. So uh, I, yeah, uh, and I um, I forgot to ask you this when we were talking about my NBT. Is uh-huh. there anyone you guys oh. um, have? Oh, up and comer. Uh, yes, the yeah. next big thing. Mm, yeah. Okay. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Uh, well, does it have to be a music artist or could it be uh, anything? Be a sh- anything? A show, a movie, okay. uh, okay. Um, anything. I'll say, I'll say this. The next big thing to me is the thing that they're doing out in Disney World where they're making um, a Star Wars-themed hotel <laughs> and they're doing a bunch he of can't cool. Wait, Cody. yeah, yeah. They're they're just doing a bunch of cool things. They're doing a big Pixar area um, at Disney World. So we're big Disney World fans. So that um, and he's a huge Star Wars fan. So right, be, right. So the two brands coming to together. A hotel. Yeah. <laughs> no, Maya and I aren't really uh, into Star Wars, are we, Maya? Yeah, no, no, I am not. Either. Just saying. Just why saying. is Chris? Has this been discussed before? Is that yeah, why? just a few times. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. you're not here to see Chris, Larry. Yeah, Chris would Chris would uh, would gossip with you, but I don't. Never even seen a movie. It's not a one of them. What? Not a one of them. Why? You know I saw. It, it's okay. I mean, it's like. I kind of get that some people definitely don't get into the sci-fi thing, but everybody's got their thing. You know what I mean? You can be like um, into the cosplay. Like I like. Um, you know, when they have the Comic-Cons and stuff like that where you can go and dress like a superhero. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is fun. I would say the next well, season of Black Lightning is going to be pretty good. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're, they're pumping that up and it's got to be so excited at the TV yeah. station that I, 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 I'm like, I need to catch up on season one because season yeah. two looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited for season two. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I'd like that. Um, so, but next big thing, there are so many great movies that are going to be coming out. Oh yeah, Kathy in the just fall. did the rundown of uh, mm-hmm. all the Star movies. Wars will be coming out. Right. The... I'm so sad I can't remember. Uh, Wonder Woman will be coming out oh. finally. 1984. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. Diana Prince. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, also, just really fast before I get back to questions. Um, I was wondering if maybe you would be able to play Gavin Haley on your station. <laughs> on flow? <laughs> yes. Okay, here's the thing. I'll play, I can't play the whole song, but when we talk about this tomorrow, we'll play a little clip of him. Is that um, where, okay, yeah, yeah. she'll be in the studio. She'll be making sure that yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's fine. I'll live up to it. I mean, they, they were new there. They, they kind of like us. <laughs> so we'll get away with it. We'll yeah, play like were, a, one verse. Maya, they're not like me. They can't just cool. stop in the middle of a song yeah, or right. just throw anything on <laughs> any point. Well, you we know? can to a certain degree. So we'll play a little bit so people know who we're talking about. All right, we'll get a little bit on there just for okay. you, just for you. But, you <laughs> know, you. I will have you know. We didn't do it for Snoop Dogg when he came in. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's yeah. a big deal. Wow. Right? Yeah. Snoop Dogg brought in like a... a Snoop's Angels. Yeah, Doggy's Angels. he was promoting Angels. his girls group, and our boss was like, before he walked in the room, our boss was like, by no means will you play any record he hands you. He's like, do you understand? And we're like, yeah. yeah right. We're like, for sure. And he's and then like, Snoop do comes not in. play his record, whatever he gives you. We're like, okay. Okay. So then here's Snoop sitting right there. He's all, oh, wait, what's up, nephew? <laughs> and we're like, hey, what's up, Snoop? And he's all, hey, what's up? And we chop it up with him for a while, laughing. Uh-huh, it's and then great. here it comes, boom, the CD. He's all, well, here's my new single from Snoop's Angels. <laughs> and then we're like. And the angels are in the room, too. Right. And then <laughs> our boss is looking at us from outside the room. Room, like, and we're like, and, like <laughs> and then the guy we're working with, Kendall, he just grabs the CD and he's like, mm, 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 and then he puts it in the thing and then it starts playing. 
And then our boss is all, ah! He's going crazy. <laughs> but, you know. You're like, it wasn't me, we didn't do it. <laughs> right. It didn't become a hit and the group didn't take off, so maybe our boss knew something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, sometimes yeah. when the artist is there, like, you know, Snoop is a rapper legend, I guess, you know. Oh, so yeah. he could definitely, like, you know, when you when Snoop asks something, you just do it. Right. He's like, he's Uncle <laughs> Snoop. You have right. to do it. Snoop Lion. Right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he was full of love when he came as Snoop Lion because right. we've met him as Snoop Dogg and then he came as Snoop Lion and I think he was an hour late that night. Right. We were like, you said you'd be on time. Snoop Lion. <laughs> Snoop's Lion. Uh, I know. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Um, so, in the... WWE, the wrestlers always have a song that plays when they make their grand entrance. If you could pick any song to announce your arrival, what song would you want to oh, be playing? Goodness. I'm going old school. Uh huh. Going Britney Spears. Oh no! And I'm going. <laughs> I think I did it again. Made you believe. Oh, more than just friends. Yeah, that, oh, that was yeah. great. That, that was, was pretty great. good. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't tell you. Oh, I mean, you after know, that, how do you tell? Yeah. I, I can't. Ride with me. Ride with me. See where this thing goes. <laughs> I uh, you know, um, ooh, you know what? I might come out to a Dua Lipa song. I'm digging her so much. The new one, uh, the Why Do I Blow Your Mind? Oh yeah, yeah. right. If you want that, then, then right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it's, if you want to break up with me, song. why do why do you still call me? Yeah. You know, if you if you're right. And you know I blow your mind. I like that. Anything I can sing. I'm, I do like to get down and sing while I'm driving. That might be my favorite thing, my favorite pastime. Yeah. Car karaoke with Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> Although Larry just always, hi, yeah, we're here. What's up? Larry always has to call somebody because he never likes to be alone driving in the car. <laughs> well, I didn't know this was exposed Larry's vulnerabilities. I'm sorry, hour. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, but she's right. But I think that when you're in the car... Um, you know, that's the time to catch up on all your calls. So I'll call my mom. Hi, mom. So she thinks I'm a good son, and I got that in during the commute. Right. So I just try to get through the calls. But sometimes, it's true, I don't like to be alone. I might call one of you next. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, one time he literally put it out there. Who's who's up at 4.30? Because I need to talk to somebody on my way into work. Nobody's up at 4.30. I'll tell you that. I was going to say, feel free to call us between 10 and 3. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Studio hotline. Those are we'd our working hours. To, we'd be glad to hear from you between 10 and 3. You do Excellent. have a studio hotline? Oh, yeah. I've been coming here how many years, and I didn't know that I could yeah. just pop, in, pop like, and call? Like, you can, you can call us from a cell phone uh-huh. or from a hospital phone. I love that. From a, from a cell phone, it is 720-777-4500. I'm going to put that in my phone in there just you go. a second. I'm going to call zero and go, zero. Uh, this is Roger in room 304. I didn't get my pudding. <laughs> and we'll say yeah. we know this is Larry because there's no room 304 and then I'll go click <laughs> yeah <laughs> click I called uh, John Elway as Peyton Manning I crank called him and uh, I called he got all the way through to yeah, I John I said hey uh, this is Peyton I said I lost my cell phone can I talk to John and uh, so they, they handed me to him and this was at a point where uh, Peyton Manning was like dropping a lot of things he couldn't have filling in his hands. He was dropping the ball. Right. Yeah. So I was like, I started to call. I said, oh, hey, what's up, John? So what's up, buddy? I was like, I started dropping things in the background. I was like, hey, man, I'm dropping everything. I am all don't know what's going on. And He's John like, laughed at first. Right. He was laughing. He's like, oh, really? And then he goes, this ain't Peyton. And I was all, yes, it is. Goodbye. Click. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get yelled at by John Elway. No, you don't want to get yelled at. Yeah. Nor no. do you want him to know it was us. Exactly. Oh, run. Run. <laughs> no, I actually said Larry Ulibray. He goes, who is this? And I was like, Larry Ulibray. Click. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> He's like, oh, I remember you, yeah, Larry right. Ulibray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, do you have a motto or a quotation that you live by? Well, let's see. Um, I, because, not really a motto. I mean, but it is to just, if you have, you got to help others. Like, that's how my grandma raised me. If you're lucky enough to get, you got to give to others. But the real thing, and he makes fun of me every single time I say it. When I wake up, first thing I do is smile. Because I, I just like have that. to get me my too. body into a into a we're happy we're doing this it's it's a new day yay mm-hmm. convincing myself let's <laughs> let's be happy but you definitely feel your body change when you smile huh so. well you come in pretty cranky <laughs> maybe you should oh. smile to yourself I'm more. smiling for the audience <laughs> see here's the thing this is Kathy that everybody sees yes all done Kathy K- when, TV Kathy right in the morning when she comes 
She's that girl from the ring that had hair. <laughs> that just crawled out of a well. <laughs> and she comes in and she's like. <laughs> she gets in the elevator. I'm all. <laughs> oh my God, who are you? And then during the course of the show, she gets into drag. Yeah, that's what he calls it. And then she becomes a lady. A woman. And then by the time she's on TV, she's all done and nice. And I'm like, where's her? Like, well, I never could see that girl. Because <laughs> you're 440 in the morning. Yeah, that's I'm completely like, different from 10 a.m. What's yeah. your motto? Do you have one that you live by? Um, no, I mean, like, do unto others. I definitely feel that you should, um, you know, treat people with respect. And I think that, you know, you if you look on social media, there's so much craziness going on. And I think that, like, what you had said in the beginning of the show is just, like, be positive. Do something nice for somebody. Go out of your way. And you would be surprised at how far a I'm sorry goes or a thank you. Right. And if there's, especially if there's something... If you say I'm sorry and that's it, you don't say a bunch after, that really does make a difference if you have some hard feelings with somebody. And I always say that you should probably step up and try to take the high road because nothing's worse than taking the low road and living with regret of things you said. And yeah, it's just better to always take a pause and try to take the high road. Yeah. He tried to take a pause one day when I was trying to get into his house to, so we could discuss something. I was like, you can't send me that text and then not want to communicate with me. I was like, I am outside I, your door. No, no, before she came, I was like, she's crazy. This lady's crazy. <laughs> and then I hung up and then she was all ding dong, ding dong. I was like, I see, she's crazy. And then she's like, I want to get in. And I was like, oop, she's in crazy mode. So I went and hid in my basement. I just felt this <laughs> should be communicated without a text message. I, I went in my bomb shelter, my panty room. <laughs> <laughs> but Yoshi was still upstairs. I was like, yeah, he's I'm all looking the out the window. Yoshi. He's like, that crazy lady's here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and we're still friends. And we still are. You got to learn to laugh through life because it's going to yeah. throw some doozies at you. Bye, guys. Yeah. Um, we really appreciate you having us on. This is a really fun show. We never really get to do anybody else's show because we're so busy doing ours. So it was really fun to come hang out with you guys. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. I do. Um, I have one more question for you guys. Um, who do you consider to be a real life superhero, Ooh. and why? Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. These are good questions, Maya. <laughs> oh gosh, there's there, you know for all the examples of like <laughs> great Dutra's here. Terrible things. Oh, that's their baby. And Brooke. What's up? Oh, that's the weather guy from Fox Thirty One. That's the meteorologist from Fox Thirty One. Weather guy from, from Fox Thirty One. Oh, there's and there's Brooke and Amber. We didn't uh, mean to interrupt. But oh, how cool! Okay, you guys have to wait. Oh no, you have to come say hi. What is wrong with you? Hi, Greg Dutra. Hello. I'm so excited What's to get up, to meet Brooke. Excuse me, sir. You need to foam your hands. Yes, you have to foam your hands, sir, please, if you could. Oh, Amber, yes. Um, so wait, the original question yeah, was... Yes, so it was superhero. Real life superhero, go. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I'm going to say that um, there was a guy uh, that was um, in England, I think it was somewhere, and there was a baby dangling from a balcony. Yes, and the guy, that was like, in France. It was in France. He's oh a superhero. God. And the guy literally scaled the building and saved the baby, and yeah. so that guy's definitely a hero. That's, wow. Yeah, absolutely, that's a hero. Yeah, um, I would have been like, um, I'll call somebody for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't talk about that. Um, you know, heroes are so much. It's people who really stand out and help others. So you're a superhero. Yeah, you're you a superhero. Are. You've survived a lot. Thank you're you. still here. You're sharing your love with everybody. You're showing everybody that it can be done. We're so proud of you. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I, I sure. met you two years ago. When was the first time I met you, Sheila? Two years ago. We were playing bingo right here together. And you couldn't make it that day. We right, were going right, to play right. bingo, right? So, so I think I think you're a superhero. Anyone that out there that Thank stands you. above and helps others and lifts them up—that's what it's all about. Show giving hope. So. Right, right. And just by what you do as an example, you're making other kids that are listening to this like, oh, I could do that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You're teaching them like, you know, that there's a lot of things that they could do, a lot of fun things. Right. I am just because Greg Dutra looks like a superhero doesn't mean that he necessarily <laughs> he can't even throw a baseball he can't throw a baseball <laughs> I'm sure he actually can he can he's yeah, actually he's big pitcher. man on campus yeah a pitcher that's right okay <laughs> just a little bit <laughs> but you weren't when you came to the radio or to the TV show Greg wasn't there that day I think no, you were he, having he, your was he, you there he was yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> right. Weird. He was lounging during our show. That's so that's so weird. Yeah. yeah. And when he got up and he scared me, I was like, how did I not see him? Why? <laughs> right. How did you not see him sitting there? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, it's really exciting. I was wondering where he was today because he wasn't at work, oddly enough. Baby appointment. <laughs> Baby appointment. Now I can, we need to take a picture so I can prove you were here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, please have us back whenever you want. We're excited for you to come to the yeah. Flow Morning Show tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm and, really excited. And be with us. You're bringing, you're bringing your sister and your yeah. mom. She can't yeah. get rid of me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. Well, I'll find Leia, you. Leia, you're welcome. That's why I made it. I asked if we could come earlier. It for was sure. It was for you. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Mm-hmm. And yeah. um, your studio is way nicer than ours. Ours is smaller. It's just we're going to be crammed, but it's going to be yeah. fun. We clean it a lot. Just so you know, the cleanest studio you'll ever see. Right. (laughs) Well, thank you. Yeah, we had so much fun, um, and we'll definitely have fun on our show as well. Yeah. 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 Sounds good. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you to everybody upstairs. We love you guys and all your parents up there. We're we're sending all of our love and and hugs and good wishes, and we just want you to know that find some laughter in the day. That's what it's about. Yeah, stay strong, stay up, and uh, we'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. All right. Yeah. Maya, Thank let's. You. I Thank think we got to finish the show on that right there, huh? Yeah. Okay. okay well, deal. Oh, deal. Oh wait. wait. But there's. I know, but that was such a good quote. <laughs> yeah. That was such a if good she quote. Has a better quote. I think we should okay. finish with it, don't you think? Or should well, I go to? Or, okay. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Don't test Here. it, Cody. I'm gonna let these guys go talk to their buddy, and you do quotes, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right, so I can find my yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. That was fun. Okay. There's my yeah. quotes. Okay, There's there I go quotes. ahead. Maya, yeah. tell us, what do some of those quotes say? So, um, the first one is a Jesse J quote, and it says, being perfect is boring. It's the imperfections that make us perfect. That's, that's very good. Yeah, yeah, don't be boring. Yeah. Hey, don't be perfect. Mm-hmm. Boring. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Like, Give me another one. What? Can you read the... Zachary... Yeah, okay, let's see. Be weird, embrace your weird, embrace your oddness, embrace what makes you different, because that ultimately will be something that elevates you. That's good advice. True. I think yeah. that's good. Yeah, and that's by Zachary Levi. And then... Can I read that tiny one in the top? Yeah. It says, you can ask the universe for signs all you want, but ultimately, we only see what we want to see when we're ready to see it. Is that from How I Met Your Mother? Yeah. Totally. (laughs) Totally is. Just checking. And then the last one says there are... There are a lot of little reasons why the big things in our lives happen. That's right. And we don't always know those little reasons, but sure enough, there are a lot of them, aren't there? Yeah. So true. All right. Maya, is that it for today? Yes. All right. Well, good show. And uh, we'll catch you next Monday. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Woo.